Hello and welcome to this short illustrative video on how to set up new searches in the Autochartist application. If you haven't yet watched the quick tour overview of the application and you're totally new to Autochartist, I would recommend that you watch that video first before continuing. This one deals only with setting up searches, that is, how to choose which stocks, currencies or other instruments you would like to scan for trading opportunities and also how to fine tune it by filtering out opportunities that may not be of interest to you. Those are the advanced search criteria that we will look at in a few minutes. But let's start at the beginning. To create a new search when you're logged into Autochartist, click on the new search button. The first step is to choose a group of symbols or instruments that you want to apply the search on. When choosing the instruments you want to scan for trade opportunities, you may be in one of two positions. Either you're not currently holding any open positions and you are looking for opportunities where you can make trades and profit from accurately predicted price movements or you may be in a position where you are holding a portfolio of stocks and other instruments and you are looking for the right timing to close these positions or more seriously for warning signs that you may need to exit from some of your holdings more urgently. If you belong to the first group then you would probably be looking to scan a wider group of symbols. For this purpose, Autochartist has been built and designed to be the fastest scanner for technical patents you will find in the market. It scans more than 10,000 symbols every minute on 5 different time granularities from 15 minute graphs to end of day graphs. In this approach, you would want to set up your search with a predefined group of symbols that you can select from a drop down list of group names. Be sure that the Groups radio button is selected. If you have an existing portfolio, or even if you simply have a watch list of symbols you want to follow, you can enter the stock names or codes individually in the text field underneath. Here you must make sure that the Symbols radio button is selected. Note that the symbols and predefined groups that Autocharter scans are limited to the symbols offered by your broker or the company through which you receive your free subscription of Autocharter. The most comprehensive list of symbols and market exchanges is available on our direct version. That is currently available on our website at a monthly subscription fee. So if you cannot find the symbol you are looking for, it may be that it is not included in your version of Autochartist or what it could also mean is that the symbol does not have enough liquidity for Autochartist to be able to identify meaningful patterns. Because the Autochartist analysis rests on the theory of market psychology, a certain amount of market and price action is required for a symbol to be included. Most large liquid stocks and instruments are included, however. You will notice that every time you select a predefined group or add a symbol to your custom list, the search name will automatically be updated with the name of the group or symbol last added. This was just a primitive mechanism to help ensure that your new search has a meaningful name that will remind you of what you are looking at. You can change this free text field at any time, but just be aware that if you add another symbol to your list or choose a different group, the name will automatically be updated again. So the first step in creating any search is selecting the group of symbols, either by choosing a predefined group to scan through or by setting up a smaller custom search group that have particular meaning to you. After this step of defining the group of instruments, you can now look at filtering the results through some more advanced criteria. Click on the advanced search link to define these filters. For each type of analysis, there is a different set of criteria each of these separated onto an individual tab, as you can see here. Let's start by looking at the basic chart patterns filtering criteria. Filtering on a price range is usually applicable to stock traders and not so much to forex traders. Some stock traders are not interested in penny stocks and they may not have enough funds to invest in very expensive stocks. So this affords them the chance to filter out instruments that do not fall within the price range they can afford. Similarly, not all instruments can be traded in both bullish and bearish directions, like stocks. So traders looking to invest in equities on an exchange would typically not be interested in bearish signals. With chart patterns, there is a distinction made between continuation and reversal patterns. This is covered in the chart patterns video in more detail. Depending on the market conditions or the situation of a particular stock, traders may be more interested in one or the other, like continuations are what I would look for in a trending market, for example. The pattern length simply reflects the number of candles or bars over which the pattern has formed. 
A general rule of thumb is that patterns forming over greater length are generally more reliable. But remember, look at the pattern length in conjunction with the time interval. In other words, the duration of each individual bar or candle. Next, you can choose the minimum required scores of the various quality indicators. Quality indicators get rated on a number somewhere from 0 to 10. What you are selecting here is the minimum requirement. So you will be filtering out everything that does not have at least that level of quality on a particular indicator. Now this is a common mistake made by people first starting out with Auto Chartist that they set these criteria to levels that are too high and the search returns with no results or an empty list because there were no patterns detected that meet such stringent quality requirements. So I would always advise users not to set more than one or two of these filters at a time and then to use realistic values not 8, 9 or 10 but rather 5, 6 or 7. If your search delivers enough results, you can always come back and tighten your filtering criteria later. And if you're unsure, I recommend that you leave these filters untouched at first. There is a separate video in which I have explained the meaning of the various quality indicators in detail, so I'd recommend that you have a look at that if you need more insight into what they all mean. Finally, if you're interested in only a selection of pattern types, you can uncheck the ones that will not be of any use to you. Typically traders who like to swing trade would uncheck all the non-trending patterns where support and resistance converge significantly. Now you can also define the filter criteria for your Fibonacci patterns in the same search. Just go back up to the Fibonacci tab and you'll see it's the same for the most part except that the Fibonacci quality indicators and obviously the pattern types at the bottom will be unique to Fibonacci analysis. And similarly for key levels, there is only one single quality indicator and two pattern types. Then, after you've set up all your advanced filtering criteria, you click the Create Search button and your search will be stored and made available every time you log back into the Autochartist application. Here is something important to remember. If your search turns up with no results, it probably means that one or more of your filtering criteria are too aggressively optimistic. You may need to tone them down a notch or two. Other than that, this is about all there is to setting up your own custom searches. The other videos you may find relevant are the quick start guide and the overview of quality indicators also in the section. If you're having trouble using the platform, we would love to help you. Just contact us on support at autochartist.com. Thanks for watching this video.